I'm Gary Martin, one of the PGA pros from Huddersfield Golf Club, and today we're joined by Tahid. Hello. For our fifth lesson in our 30 day challenge to get Tahid from a new golfer to a, a mid handicap golfer. Yes, but uh, pressure is mounting, guys, because um, I must admit, the more I know about uh, the, the progress people make in golf, it's making me nervous. Because especially when I look at these bunkers, they, they drive me bonkers really. How to come out of it is a mess, seems to be a mess to me. Because uh, some of the tour players even make a mess out of themselves in bunkers. So let's see how things develop. Yeah, and one of the things you're probably not aware of, Tahid, that is a bunker shot is the only shot in golf where you don't actually make contact with the ball. <laughs> how crazy is that? that? That's even more scary. <laughs> So first things first, we're going to coach Tahid on how to play greenside bunker shots. So I've got my alignment sticks. I know that you can't use these on the course, but these are fantastic when you're in a practice bunker for setting up a station. So we're going to use one for the target line. So I'm going to put that parallel to our target line, and then we're going to use one for our ball position. So I'm going to place the ball here. So this stick is demonstrating where the front foot should should be in the sand and then this stick here is demonstrating the target line and the the path that we should be trying to swing on okay okay so once you've got your front foot in position you're going to shuffle your feet into the sand right try and get about an inch into the sand and keep your feet shoulder width for parts so you've got good balance i okay. feel like uh, putting my head in the sand after <laughs> listening to all that <laughs> yeah i mean already we've we've gone into a little bit of depth here already <laughs> The next stage, guys, is to get and to here is to get your weight onto your front foot. So we're going to push this knee forward so it overhangs the front foot, okay? And that should just reverse the spine a little bit this way, right. okay? Yeah. So that should happen naturally once we push that knee forward. Now make yourself nice and low. We don't want to stand up tall for this one, so you know a bit more knee flex. And then from there, we're going to take your normal grip, okay. all right, with a slightly open face. So we're going to play this. You know, a little bit open, so not square, just yeah. open it a few degrees and that's going to really engage the bounce on the bottom of the club. Okay. All right, and then from there, we're going to try to play a pitch swing. All right, so we're going to try to create a lever. Let's start using sort of like a ninth, you know, like a, an L-shaped position in the back swing. Let's keep it simple. And then I want you to try to get the back edge of the club making contact with the sand. So when it makes contact, it should splash along the sand, it shouldn't right. dig. Okay. If you get your hands forward, it's going to dig into the sand yeah. and that's when you like to leave the ball in the sand. Okay. okay. So I'm going to demonstrate one of these. So use an L-shaped backswing. I'm going to try to hit the sand about an inch behind the ball with the back edge of the club and try to feel like that club slides underneath the ball so it passes underneath. So letting the weight of the club head come through underneath the sand that's brilliant that one was a nice shot yeah definitely so we're going to get to he now in the bunker we're going to you know try and coach him through i know this is quite an hard technique yeah. but we'll try and coach you to heed and and let's try and uh, get you playing these green side bunker shots well i'll try to use your footsteps <laughs> <laughs> i'll put you a ball there okay so that's excellent. He's got his uh, he's got his feet in position. He's got them shuffled into the sand. That's great. All right. Okay. And then uh... excellent. So once before he takes his grip, he's just opened the club face up a little bit there. Like we said, he's got that club face a little bit open, so he's engaging the bounce. And then he's took his grip. Think about the weight. So where should the weight be? Excellent. So that front knee is overhanging. His front his front foot and that's put his spine into a little bit of a reverse tilt and then then we've got to get the l-shaped position that's good the l-shaped lever and then trying to hit the sand about an inch behind the ball <laughs> I've done my best and my worst my 
So we've just had a little bit of a tuition with Tahid here. Yes. And you know, we, we've had five minutes and we've worked on a little bit of getting a high follow through at the head, the end, making sure that he doesn't quit on the shot and keep getting a really high follow through. And he's really starting to strike the ball well now. Do you want to demonstrate Tahid? It still might not work. <laughs> <laughs> Excellent shot. Well done. Great follow through as well. Look at this really high follow through. Yeah. Well done. Well, the best thing is, it's out of the bunker. Yes. That's what I'm targeting. I'm not targeting the uh, uh, flat. Yeah. My target is out of the bunker at this stage. Yes. Are, are you with me? And that's, that is a great way, you know, to, 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 to start the process. Yes. You know, I have realistic expectations, guys. You know, this is not an easy shot. It's one of the hardest shots in golf. What a strike. Now, you might have noticed, guys, uh, Tahiti's resting his club on the sand at the minute, but he's new to golf, so we're not going to be too... So in golf, what you won't know about is you're not actually allowed to rest your club on the sand. Oh, sorry. But, but we're learning the technique, you know, so we're not so, you know, we're not so fussed about the rules yet. Yeah. You know, we're just bothered about you getting out of the book. Then we can fine tune that later. Uh, just one thing, Gary. I just want to know one thing. Yeah. For example, you taught me before, let the club in the pitching shot. Yeah. Yeah. Take this course. Yeah. But in this one, are you expecting me to use a wrist yes. or just the arms? So we need a bit more leverage in the hands on this one. We right. Need to be okay. able to lever the club up, you know, to create a bit more leverage in the hands. Right. So setting your wrist a little bit more. Right. Okay. Okay. Let's right. try a couple of them. Thank you. So he's really doing well here, by, by the way. Wow, that's fantastic. Excellent. So that brings us to the end of our fifth lesson with Tahid on bunker play, which I think he's done really well. You know, bunker play is one of the hardest techniques within golf. Yeah, I must admit, uh, this was the most difficult one so far and uh, uh, I think I'll need to do a little bit more on that for definite. One more session at some stage later on. Uh, I, I'm not 100% sure about what grip shall I use on this yet and uh, let's see. Yeah, uh, I think uh, I definitely need another lesson on bunker. I think from a coaching point of view, you know, I'm really happy that Tahid's made progress in this lesson. Um, I feel like he's a lot better at playing bunker shots now than when he came. And, you know, that's sometimes the way to look at it, Tahid. Uh, yes, but uh, uh, as I said before, this was a little hard not to crack. But uh, with the m one more lesson, probably I'll be feeling a little bit more comfortable and confident. Uh, at this stage, I'm not very confident, but uh, I think it'll get better. Yeah, I hope you've enjoyed that one, guys. You know, definitely practice your bunker play. Use some of these sort of key principles that we talked about today. And you know, it's really key that you do practice bunker shots. It is a part of the game that a lot of people forget. And uh, yeah, I think we'll finish on that. Thank you very much. We'll see you next week, guys. Bye. Cheers. Bye.